All right, there we go. <sighs> OBS updates reset a bunch of settings that fucked things up, and then I fixed it, but it was specifically set up for um, streams with Nick where we were using the snowball mic and sitting on the couch next to each other. So hopefully this... Hopefully this translates now. No, they just moved it. Okay. But I get to see Ted okay. Bay the day before my birthday this year. Um, shit. Sorry. Um, can you try the other setting in your microphone? Because you're. I tried listening on Twitch and you're really quiet. Oh. Okay, let's try this. How does this sound on Twitch? Hmm. You still sound far away. I'm going to turn. So since no, I couldn't put you. Just... All right. Sorry to anybody who's listening. Does this sound better on Twitch? Oh, uh, yeah, it sounds definitely sounds better than what it was before. Oh, yeah, I moved my mic directly in front of me. So. I turned myself down a little bit. I just want to make sure that we're both heard over the game audio and that I'm not That's fair. super that loud fair. compared to you. Uh, anybody who may be tuned in, uh, feel free to chime in on the sound debate. <laughs> Oh, man. I'm really looking forward to tonight because uh, it's just been a lot more enjoyable getting back into things with... Oh, thanks. Kalani says we both sound great. No, oh, thanks, Kalani. I, I have to fix my hair. Hold on. All right. Oh, everybody's missing out on the show. Just doing like a panty. He's like a man teen pro V commercial. Okay, I'm back. I was watching the whole time. <laughs> but no, I'm, I mean, I'm with you. I've needed... I've needed this. It was really fun doing the, uh... The tournament with Nick on No Mercy, and then... Gonna be streaming on Wednesday next week, as... Well, you already knew that. Yeah, I'll be at Dynamites. Yeah. See, that's what sucks, is putting my mic right here, though. It's going to be... We're going to catch some of the audio from the fucking fan on my computer. Yeah, I mean, everything sounds fine to me so far, so... Let's see how it goes. It works for me. Like I said, I'm most concerned about the game audio in relation to our voices, but... I'm about to find out in a minute. Forgot to actually put the countdown timer, but it's too late now. Good waffle, what's going on? Mario's here too. Thank you guys hey, for coming. What's up, guys? We're about to. I'm, ha uh, I'm happy to see most of you, Matt. <laughs> when you uh, when you go live, don't forget to actually share the uh, video with me. Thank you for reminding me. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, I'll get I am. You, I'm doing different things with all the different streams, so it's sometimes hard to keep it all straightened out. All right, I'm going to share this with Chris in Discord and then take us live on camera. Watch Strem. Watching Strem. No, right, are you able to see it? Yeah, I got it. Okay, I guess we're good to go. Mm -hmm. Should be fun. <laughs> What's up, everybody? Welcome to MWF Zero Hour. I am Matt Young, joined tonight by the man known to one and all as the Honky Hick with the Donkey Dick. The guy's doing the wave right there, Chris Koran. I was actually trying to act like you were a puppet and mouth the same time <laughs> you did, but I can't see, like, you know, the way we've yeah. got everything set up, I can't see you, so. <laughs> oh, man. It's our first MWF show of the year, and you're already just trying to manipulate me into doing your bidding. But, well, vintage Chris Coron, what can I say? 
But tonight, uh, yeah, unfortunately, Jed wasn't able to join us, but we're here for, I guess it's the third stream on the channel this year, but the first for the MWF. We got all our championships on the line, 12 matches for you tonight. Main event, Kool-Aid Man versus Wonder Woman for the world title with multiversal implications. Uh, no point in going over the entire card right now before we dive into the action. We're kicking things off with Thanos versus the Hulk. Gonna be a big old hoss fight. Oh, gotta get gotta get the uh, tab open for our predictions. Oh, okay. Yeah, so His you're keeping an official have record. Implications this time. Yeah, you want to tell everybody what that's about as I oh, yeah. get the show started. So the um, the predictions this time, and I guess uh, Judge just kind of SOL on this. But the predictions are gonna determine which one of the three of us comes in late. To the I can't remember the name of our rumble. <laughs> maximum Carnage. The Maximum Carnage Rumble match. It's gonna determine which one of us comes in last. Not that any of us are coming in the thirtieth spot, but out of the announcers, who gets the latest entry? No, so I don't you know. You taking you going Thanos or Hulk? Uh, I'm gonna go with Thanos. Um, we haven't seen much of the Hulk. I don't know if you noticed though when it shows the wrestler's name on screen, it mentions their record. Oh, um, that's in addition to the mod. Well, there's a thing that it kept track of records before, but it wouldn't show it on screen. This is a different mod, so perfectly timed though in discovering that, I guess, because it's going to be it's the beginning of the year, so it'll keep track of the 2023 records. Well, uh, I'm going with that big green dick, so let's go home. Oh, yeah, I'll do a great start with that prediction as he just gets knocked on his ass eight seconds into the match. We got Sasquatch as a referee because we need a big hoss to control all these big hosses. Actually, a big hoss to control a big hoss is my grinder profile. <laughs> so. Oh, man. Um, it lo looks like it's cutting off a little bit of the chat at the bottom of the screen, but I don't want to fuck with it and ruin anything. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Now we're happy to have everyone here. Uh, I'll probably load Twitch up on my phone shortly. But as always, I'm accompanied by my boy Lockjaw oh, and yeah. the Up Up Down Down Championship. So. And I'm accompanied by the Simpsons Arcade One Up machine behind me. I still haven't got the Ninja Turtles one up here. <laughs> I okay, Mario. The Calabunga collection, so now I feel like there's no point to ever buy one of those cabinets. So yeah, I got it because it was 150 bucks on clearance. The new ones are even more expensive than the original versions were, so it's definitely overpriced. But uh, did you get Calabunga collection on PS5? Yes, I did. Oh shit! So I got that that version of the day it came out. We should definitely try playing it sometime. I guess we should. But uh, I don't know if. I don't know if I told you this. I did the um, the limited run games. I did their blind boxes on the Monday after New Year's. So I've got a blind box PS4 and a blind box Switch game coming to me at some point. Nice. Oh. Oh. So uh, before it gets before I get too far behind, Mario uh, asked about the wrestlers posing on the workshop. I'm not sure exactly what you're referring to. I've got. I've used the. Uh, I've got something set up in the mods where they do their poses on the selection screen. I'm not sure about the workshop specifically. And apparently Kalani thinks I should do a Jolly Green Giant parody. Mario's checking if Jolly Green Giant's on the workshop as Thanos stomps the nutsack of the Hulk. I think we've only seen Hulk compete once or twice previously. Yeah, I don't feel good about my prediction, but I feel like we need to go... Uh, at least for the most part. I'm going to be offended if we both don't take the break stuff club later in the car, but... You know I always pick you. What is that audio feedback I'm getting? I am not sure. Uh, whatever, I can still hear you fine. As long as I sound okay. Tell me if the chat says I sound okay or if I sound fucky. Alright, um... Yeah, anybody in the chat, feel free to chime in. Please let us know if we sound all right compared to the game audio and if Chris sounds okay in general. <laughs> you sound good on my end. Yeah. Jolly Green Giant. It sounds like there's like almost this like helicopter sound in the background. And now it's gone. There it goes. <laughs> okay. Mario says there's a degree of reverberation. Uh, I don't know if it's from you or me or both. Uh, oh, nice German suplex. 
get that three count right here, baby. Right. Thanos. Chris sounds a bit quieter than Matt. Well, unfortunately, that's the norm. Yeah, that's unfortunately just how it's going to happen. Uh, I can turn up. Last. Oh, wait. Big old choke slam. What about this? Now that does sound better? You sound a lot louder than me. I don't know about on okay. the stream. Well, tell me how I sound on the stream now. Oh, another one Fuck of those. You, Thanos. Fuck you. Oh, it's good now. Okay. Good Waffle says it's good now. Good Waffle. I think... Now, good Waffle, are you also a blue waffle? <laughs> oh, God. I think oh, part of it might just be your speaking volume, because I I talk more loudly than I normally do when I'm streaming. So. That's fair. Um. Oh, shit. No. Fisherman Buster no. Rolling Edition. No. I might do it. Mm -mm. He ain't quitting. Hulk ain't no bitch. Thanos has been on a roll ever since he came back last year. Lost that match uh, to King Kong. King Kong's debut at Matt Mania. Oh, Matt Mania 2, that is. Came back strong and hasn't lost a match since. Th what the? Jump! Hulk up top! Big oh, they needed like, the big boot that Sid broke his leg on. <laughs> Still not enough, though. Big so, uh, and a dick stomp. I'm going to be showing a graphic later on, but uh, since Good Waffle's here, might as well mention that this coming Wednesday, uh, so for those of you who don't know, we're back to doing weekly streams, doing a variety of things as Thanos hits the triple Fisherman Busters again. Oh, wait. Is this going to do it? <laughs> Hulk slide into the ropes. Anyway, Hulk is bleeding. But we're doing a Master of the Multiverse tournament. Eight different tournaments and eight different games. 64 total competitors. The first tournament was in No Mercy. And next week, we're doing the second tournament. WCW versus NWO World Tour. And since uh, had to reschedule from Thursday to Wednesday, Good Waffle from twitch.tv slash Good Waffle and from the chat going to be joining as co-host. So I'm very much looking forward to that. Oh, no. Oh, yes. Uh oh, this might do yes. it. Yes. yes. Oh, Thanos is barely. I'm determined to beat you this week. Hey, there's a bot advertisement in the chat. Oh shit! Did Thanos what took Hulk up top? Hulk countered into some. I don't know if it's like a Thez press of. Oh, but Thanos. Jack in the jaw of Hulk. Thank you, Mario. Mario. Doing, the Lord's work as our mod. Uh oh, I can see that coming as soon as they started running. Oh, so um, we're enjoying this match right here between Thanos and Hulk. We're coming up next. We have an eight-man. Oh shit! No, oh, that's got to be it. Thanos kicks out again, and the, he's hitting that the big choke slam. It's got to get him away. Oh, oh this is it. I, I've said that three times already in this match, but... He can't right now. Hulk's gonna get, yeah, Hulk got up first. Hulk's groggy, though. Jeez, I'm not... Oh. Coming up next, Chris Coran in action is what I was trying to say. Second? Eight. I'm going on second? It's a loaded card, by God. I was trying to space out the tag matches. The tree... There's, we got... Two trios matches, one regular tag match for the titles, of course, and this four-on-four -four match, Break Stuff Club, against Love Schlack, Mankind, and Cactus Jack, the multiverse of Mix tonight. Ooh. The multiverse, the existence of the multiverse has been revealed to everyone as a result of Wonder Woman's Christmas wish. We'll go into that more later. Oh, the knockout punch there, maybe. I need someone to get that. Good guy. Yeah, these guys have been eating the shit out of each other, but nobody's been able to put the other away. Until... Oh, crucifix powerbomb from Thanos. Oh, wow. Man. I was wondering about the endurance of these two, but I... Oh, God. That's the third one, I think. The third powerbomb. I thought it was... I had given up on Thanos at that point, man. 
<laughs> Seriously? <laughs> this is not looking good for the for my chances and the predictions. And this ain't looking good for either of us if every match goes as long. Oh, wow. Mario says it's a contender for match of the year. Already. It's, a, it's an early start. Thanos choking. It's over. It's over. Yeah. The Infinity Gauntlet smothering Hulk. Thanos with the hard-fought victory. Those two just, man. We haven't seen much of Hulk before here in the MWF, but that performance against Thanos definitely makes me want to see more of him. Four and a half stars, 97%, 17 minutes, 23 seconds for Thanos. Victorious over the Hulk. I guess I better... Uh, Turn off the free cam before we... The multiverse of mix! Oh shit, there are so many fucking tabs for this. I forgot to take us off the screen, sorry about that. Alright, there we go. Boo them. Boo all of them. Here we go. This is the team right here. First time for the Break Stuff Club wrestling as a four person squad with Juliet Starling, their newest member. As you see, Chris Coran on commentary, but also performing in the ring. Years of practicing tantric sex med meditation techniques that allow him to be in two places at once. There he is drinking a beer as Big Titty Goth Milf, the referee, looks on. <laughs> Schlack, former member of the Break Stuff Club, now part of Love Schlack with Dude Love. The multiverse is open, bringing in a multiverse of mix. We've got Chris Coran on commentary, Chris Coran in the ring, and the Coran rule in effect, which means Need all. Yeah. Yep. All tornado style tag matches. Go for it. Go for it, Juliet. We're fucking up Cactus Jack. Fred Durst is holding it down, getting from the corner. Of what? What do you, Cactus Jack? So Chris Coran right here made uh, the challenge last month at Christmas Chaos. Oh, an assisted Jack off Powerbomb right there. Made the challenge for Juliet Starling versus Schlack after Love Schlack was victorious over Chris and Fred Durst in a tag team match. However, our commissioner. Jonathan, the blind, gay, sex-crazed giant tortoise, 190 years old. He is a big fan of Mick Foley. Jonathan was a hardcore wrestler back in the late 80s. Fun fact, participated, it took place on the Isle of Tortuga around 1885. The first ever Hell in a Shell match. Jonathan mm -hmm. was in that against Shelton Benjamin. Shelton with two L's because it's a tortoise. And <laughs> Shelton Benjamin, the human, took his his name from that tortoise. Fuck you, Matt. <laughs> so that's how- Oh, Chris, you're going to the top? No. And right back down. Not really sure what Juliet's the one doing the powerbomb in that uh, exchange. Come on. Know. We haven't seen Juliet Starling <laughs> compete too often here, and it's been a very long time. Oh, God. Assistant Another assisted Jack. Jack. Yes, and then you drink another... How, how do you keep all these beers in your pants? In your shorts, I'm sorry. Uh, much like Gretchen Wiener... Yeah, much like Gretchen Wiener's, uh, my hair is full of secrets. So. <laughs> oh, wait. Oh, somebody got covered. Dude, one fall to a finish. A one count. I think it was Dan Housen. He's there, down in the... Dan Housen's got some fucking work to do after that piss poor performance in the Battle Royale. I got 38 seconds, I think, before getting eliminated, but... Hey, you kicked out Schlack right after you lost the title. True. Yeah, I guess that makes it worse. Donald Trump, um, gonna be in action a little later on tonight. The MAGA Powers as a unit have not competed since the Trios title tournament over the summer, but they, uh, sent out the challenge to the champions. As Dude Love covers, Three of the four horror men, Pennywise, Freddy Krueger, Michael Myers, the trio's champions are defending against Donald Trump, Mike Pence, and the Magazord. Roland Senton, Fred Durst, Schlack, former tag champs together, and now bitter rivals here. 
you have anything to add about this rivalry with Schlack and where he's gone since being excommunicated from the group, for lack of a better term? Dude, it was just, it was all business, and then he had to get all angry and pissed off about everything, and now, like, he brought Foley into it. I have to hide Another beer. Because <laughs> I'm so upset about the situation. Oh, a two count for Chris. And, you know, like, yeah. the Break Stuff Club, we, 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 we've been dragging a bit. Things haven't been going good since, you know, we booted Schlack. We lost the tag belts. Not angry with Fred about that. These things happen. We can't be champions forever. We should point out that in your tag title loss, you did not get pinned. You've never been pinned or submitted. You've been thrown out of a, of a rumble, as we all have. Thrown out of a rumble, that's it. Yeah, no, none of us, me, you, Jed, we've never been pinned. We haven't competed that much, but you've competed most frequently by far. You're the only one that's held a title. Uh, somehow. somehow. Oh, eat the feet from Juliet Starley. But Fred got dropped on his head and... Fred got dropped on his head again. Dan Housen retaliated. Schlack's pinning oh. me. You oh, no. Be pinning me. Kick out. Starling tossed to the outside with a suplex. Yeah, Mario, I know he's not your favorite. Wait, who's not Mario's favorite? Uh, Donald Trump. It's a oh, message from... Right. Oh, God! Mandible Claw on Dan Housen. Don't you dare. Oh, Dan Housen with that big DDT on Dude Love. Powerbomb to me from Schlack and Texas Jack. Fred getting sued. Oh, no! Oh, come on! Almost. Dan Housen almost picked up a big win for the Break Self Club. So you're, you just marked us both down for picking the break style of the club, right? Oh, yeah. Okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, Fred up top. Either, we'll either both get check marks or no one gets a check mark. Yeah. Oh, come on, guys. Did you want to beat the shit out of me? Oh, wow. No, Dan Housen sent to the outside? Dan Housen to the outside? Do you love going out? We, we, we got to start looking better. We're not looking good right now. You just got donkey punched by mankind. In the elbow. Oh, no. Kyle Driver to Dan Housen. He's in the ropes, clearly. I'm in the ropes. I'm in the ropes. <laughs> also in the ropes. Oh, big DDT. DDT Jack off powerbomb to Schlack. Schlack off powerbomb. Oh, God. An, an assistant. Jack off powerbomb. Another one? Oh, my God. You're on a fucking ramp. Oh, Chris. Holy shit. We might lose, but I'm angry about it. Oh, the referee, though. Big titty goth milf got knocked out by Cactus Jack. Right after you hit. Well, no, but somebody's got to be there to count the pinfall or the call for the submission. Oh no! Go over there and give her CPR. Oh no! Rolling Fred Durst right there posing in the middle of the ring. Yeah, we can. Get their asses kicked. We cannot afford Justin Roberts, unfortunately. No, no, no. Oh, the elbow. No, Juliet Starling. Why did you? She's trying to hog all the glory. Big boot. Oh, shit. No. Sako. Sako. Tap out. Tap out, tap out. You're trying, you're wait, wait, you're telling yourself to tap out? I don't understand. No, talking to Dude Love who's getting repeatedly punched in the face. Dude Love covers Juliet. Two count only. Oh god, this is chaos. Obligatory ref up, Mario put in that. Oh god, low blow from Schlack to Fred, unfortunately. And the Break Stuff Club. I don't know. They might. Are you? It looks like you guys might be fighting back. Starling. Yeah, posing for some reason. Oh, there. No. 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 Two. Oh God. God, Julia and Dude Love colliding. This is. I don't know. I don't know what to expect here, man. This is just complete chaos. Mario rooting for the Breaks Up Club. I think we all are. Oh wow, Fred Durst with that Rey Mysterio style ball. Oh god, no, break it up. <laughs> oh, Julia, wow. big spear in the corner. No, you just ran into the corner, man. 
Chris, you shouldn't have had so many beers early in the match. I know. Gosh, Schlack with the Schlack breaker. There we go. Another assisted jack off powerbomb. Assisted jack offs are the best kind. Juliet! Juliet gets that 2.9 on Mankind. Oh no. They just hit your own move on you. Can't keep a good man down. Dan Housen taking dude level. Chris up top. Right to the heart of Schlag. Another. No. The manual claw. Nobody there to break it up. But Dan Housen refusing to die. Yeah, we need to get someone over there with Dan Housen. You know, me. Stop being a bitch in the corner. She's in the ropes, but it doesn't matter, apparently. The big titty go. Oh, no. Big pile driver from Schlack. Big titty goth milf covered in blood. Oh, twisted bliss. Julia Starling is pinned, Schlack, the match that you challenged for the one on one match. That ended up being who was involved in the pit of their beer. Throwing the bottle in the ass of mankind. Oh, God, my camera just went crazy. What the fuck? That is the crazy. Wow. I have no idea what's. That's. Um, I can't uh, see you. I know, but it was really fucked up. It was. I don't know. That was strange. Maybe it's a. Oh, we're going right into the next match. The death match title on the line. Powder Toast Man and Kratos. You're going with Powder Toast Man? He's been so. Of course, now he's. I'm going. a free hint right there. I've been like, nah, I think I'm going with Kratos. So you switch to Kratos? No, no, no. I'm oh, wait. Like thinking Powder Toast Man. All right. Um. Fuck. I'll go. Mm, I'll go with Kratos. I was gonna just. I. I don't know. We've only seen Power Toast Man a couple times. Kratos has defeated the entire Nightmare family. His only loss is to the Kool-Aid Man. Um, sorry, everybody. I don't know what's happening with my camera. Um, but Power Toast Man's our deathmatch champ, right? Yeah, he's a champ, and he's... I haven't seen anybody kick out of that uh, face-sitting move where he farts on the guy's face, and I'm not so sure. I'm worried. A, bit of, a part of me is worried that it's one of those moves that's just glitch where people can't kick out, and he'll just be champ forever. But uh, I guess we'll find out, maybe. A triangle choke? From Powdered Toast Man? <laughs> Just full of surprises. The Barmian Stomp? Oh, wait, it, it, when you say it is, does that mean it, it is glitched? Because that would be bad. Ah! Oh, it's glitched, goddamn. Okay, well, um. It, it is glitched. Okay. That's what Mario says. My camera okay. is apparently glitched. Well, I think after this match, we're going to strip him from the title then. Or remove that. Uh-oh, going for the Warner? Yeah, I think the best, if I'd have to remove that from his arsenal, because I didn't, I, I wasn't sure. It was only a couple matches he's had. <laughs> uh, yeah, I can edit his moves. Um, I'm going to just try to plug it in my camera and unplug it. Let me. Kratos going for the submission. We got Big Daddy Clemens as the referee. Illegitimate, father, uh, <laughs> legitimate father of Aaron Clements, illegitimate father to many others. Uh, know those feels. You have a perfectly legitimate father who's a wonderful man. Well, no, I'm saying being an illegitimate father to other children. No, oh, feeds okay. the man. Feeds the man. Now going by pops, living that grandpa life. was that? <laughs> Damn it. 
Yeah, I can hear you. I've got you. I don't know about them. God, I hope they don't have to listen to just me for the next hour and a half. back and forth. I need Powdered Toast Man to put this away. I can't believe that's a place to just say. No, oh, I can hear you. Well, hold on. Let's see. Uh, turn the volume down and ask if they can still hear me. So uh, let's find out. Not now. Can y'all hear me? I've got you, but I don't. I don't think the stream does. All uh, right. Good waffle says they can hear me. Can you hear Matt yet, though? Can anybody hear me? Matt. Okay. Well, and my audio just got all winner. fucked up in my earbud. That's awesome. Wait, what's fucked up in your earbuds? I can barely hear anything now. Oh, that's can you guys, you guys can hear me. Is the sound quieter for on the stream, or is it just in my earbuds? Oh, this is a <laughs> this is great. I can hear both of you loud and clear. I mean, that's the, unfortunate. All right, so everything's fine in the game audio too. Tombstone! Alright. Just in my earbuds. Okay, I can deal with that then. No selling the tombstone? Oh god! No. Sit out Powerbomb from Kratos! No! 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 Two no. count only! Um... Why is my webcam not showing? <laughs> Alright. Oh no. I unplugged my webcam and plugged it back in, and I have no idea why it's not showing anything now. No, shit, no! Sit down, Powerbomb again! Fuck you, New Kratos. champ! Fuck you, Kratos! Fuck you, Kratos! Matt, I need you to go over to the next matches. I can barely hear you, Chris. I know everybody said he heard on the stream. Oh, I, I leaned away from my mic, too. I turned up the volume on my computer since my earbuds got all wonky. Can you hear me now? Yeah, I can hear you. You're much closer to the mic. Oh, we didn't get... Okay. I thought we were going to get a, um, a celebration screen, but apparently not. <laughs> it's a new champion, but... So we're getting the Steiner Brothers. I know you sent the. I know I saw oh, the graphic, yeah. I just can't remember who they're wrestling. Oh, it's a, it's the debut of this team. Well, neither man's debut, but as a tandem, it is their first time together. Oh yeah. Billy and Chucky. Fuck uh, Bill Cosby. Fuck Bill Cosby. I'm in no way saying I'm a fan of Bill Cosby. Oh, I know. But, but uh, Steiner Bros. so we've seen Bill Cosby team up with a demon possessed Bernie Sanders in order to try to take over the dream world from Freddy Krueger. Cosby has been the Sith apprentice of Darth Vader as Count Cuckoo. We've uh, we actually before that we saw him align with Doomsday to try to take out Superman for the world title. I forgot about that. Yeah, it was a short lived alliance between those two, but uh, oh god. Great teamwork from the Steiner brothers early on. So Cosby, after his ditch by Darth Vader, joined up with Carnage, the Carnage symbiote. After Carnage stripped the symbiote away from him, the only thing keeping Cosby alive was his residual force powers, and Chucky showed up, having been directionless since being kicked out of the New World Horror, transferred Cosby's body, or conscience, into the body of a good guy's doll, and thus we have Billy and Chucky. Of course, in 2000, 2000, 2001, somewhere around there, maybe a little bit earlier, 
Chucky showed up on Nitro via satellite to uh, talk shit to Rick Steiner during Steiner Rick's feud with uh, Scott Steiner, talking about Scott was going to get a role in Chucky's next movie. So there's the origin of Chucky and Rick Steiner's beef, and Scott is pissed because he never got that movie role. So here we are in 2023, Bill Cosby in the body of a doll, Chucky is tag team partner against the Steiners, storytelling 101. Let's go Steiner brothers. There's apparently nothing I can do to correct the fucking camera. I'll show you guys what I'm seeing. Maybe if I open Discord, even though my camera's not in Discord. Yeah, I don't know how to fix that. I've just been unplugging my camera and plugging it back in. Fuck you, Chucky. Fuck you, Chucky. Chucky. With, I thought, wait, you love Chucky, though. I know I love Chucky, but I'm rooting for the Steiner Bros. OBS isn't the greatest at recognizing inputs after you're running. Ah, well, that's awesome. Because the way it was before, it just kept flickering unpredictably. I had an extension cable plugged in. Oh, God. Um... I'll see if I can fix it somehow during this match. Oh, the force powers! Cosby still has the force powers. Which doesn't seem fair. He's not a Sith apprentice anymore. No, but he had him when he was sharing the Carnage symbiote as well. Oh, that's true. Oh, there it goes again, the force oh, push. Shit. Yeah, I tried... Shit. Tried adding the webcam as a new source and it just, it's showing the same shit. Force choke from Cosby to Rick Steiner. As Carl Scott from just stands there and watches it happen. Yeah, I'm not sure what the mechanics of that are when he's using the force, if it's, how that all works. Oh, Cosby going old school with the, Physically choking something. And then Chucky just eating shit on that diving move. <laughs> oh, Chucky trying to hypnotize somebody there. <laughs> now Chucky going for that choke. Bill, Bill Cosby and Chucky have a lot in common. Lots of nut shots, lots of choke. Oh, that perfectly timed it. I don't think the Steiners are looking great. I think I may have picked the wrong, uh, picked the wrong team. Uh, all right. Um. Well, hey, if I can't fix the camera, I remove myself. I'll just leave Chris where he's at, and that way you guys can see the timer for the match. Which, for those not familiar with Fire Pro, moves at twice the speed of real time. Two X speed. You can alter that, but uh, at least with the mod pack. But I just figured that this is what we're used to. Might as well leave it. We uh, no, we did that uh, that flash and <laughs> flash or zoom match or whatever it was. Yeah, flash and reverse like, flash. Chucky, wait, going for the cover. That like, was what, um, was that like eighty times speed or something? It was whatever the highest was. I think um, that was I think your first show at the. Uh, it was. A June 2020 pay per view. Oh, it's been a long time. Two and a half years since then. Lunch. Looks like something Cosby would have worn in the 80s. This looks like something I wore in the 80s. I was dressed up as a My Buddy doll once. There's a well, picture. I know, a long, I know we took a long break. It's weird to think that this is technically my fourth year doing stuff with this. Yeah. We took a 10 month break, but. Next, uh. And Maximum Carnage, that's going to be our 69th MWF show. We've gone well over 100 for the channel as a whole. Shit, I just realized, I'm not sure, um, since all the matches automatically run one after another, when I'm going to, I guess I can pause. i got two different things to show. Oh, wow. Chucky with the claw again. I don't see a way the Steiner brothers are winning this. This has not been their match. 
Oh god, the stroke from Chucky. It's over, baby. Oh, only a two count. Cosby juking and jiving. I hate you, Bill. I hate you so much. Coming up next, we got our second title match of the evening with the international championship on the line. Captain Planet, the new champion, finally winning his first match of the year with his career on the line at Christmas Chaos, beating Darth Vader for the title. Darth Vader claims it was a fluke. Cosby's former tag team partner wants that belt back, and he challenged Co uh, Captain Planet to a two out of three falls match tonight. It wasn't like he was choking. It was like he was grabbing his dick. It was like he was doing like a forced dick grab to Scott Steiner a second ago. But imagine the torque on the forced dick grab. That's what all Scott Steiner's freaks do. Shout out to Medeja. Oh my god, there's a name I haven't thought of in forever. Steiner, Rick Steiner's face is covered in blood. Scott's a little bit, but Stein, the Steiners are in trouble. Or not. Shit. Watch this be our highest rated stream yet because I'm not on camera. <laughs> the only bad thing is if Kalani comes up here, then she won't be on camera. Uh, well, I was, before you said that, I was going to say people know what they want. It's more Koran, but, you know. <laughs> more Ron. Kalani Mc... M-O-H-R-O-N. -O 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 more Koran. Go to sleep from uh, Cosby. Sexy pin. <laughs> so, only still the two. Oh, this might do it. Force choke. No DQ, so it's a submission, man. It's over. The Steiners in their debut here in MWF fought hard, fought valiantly, but have succumbed to Billy and Chucky. Making an impressive debut as a team right there. Oh, oh, this has gotten much better than I expected. Kalani says, yay, now I don't have to put pants on. Well, hold on. Good waffle booing Kalani's, women without Kalani's, pants. If Kalani's at least going to be pantsless, can you turn on your camera for Discord? <laughs> wow. Vintage co uh, uh I love you, Kalani. I'm just joking. Got to turn the uh, free cam back on for this one. We might get a black screen at the start of the match. That's uh, unfortunately pretty normal with the free cam switching back and forth. The former Who's champ, coming? Darth Vader. Is he going new champ or retain? Oh, man. Um, mm. So, I love both these guys. I want, I like Vader as champ and wanted to see where he'd go with it, but it's hard to pick. You know, I, I correctly... Did that say two out of three falls? Yeah, that's, I mentioned that in the, the intro. Oh, my bad, my bad, my bad. I feel like I gotta go, um, I gotta go, I, I correctly predicted Cap was gonna take it, so, all right, I gotta stick with the horse that brought me, so I'll, I'll stay with Cap. Captain Planet? Mm-hmm. Okay, I'll go with Vader then. I was really, I guess I want Vader to... I wanted to see, I hoped he would have a long title reign. It's like he won it at the Empire Strikes Back. I figured, hey, he's going to do great. Instead, lost a non-title match in the Coronavirus Cup tournament to Batman. Successfully defended the title against Batman the next month, but then lost to Captain Planet. So, not really much of a title reign there, unfortunately. Chris showing his enthusiasm for the show. <laughs> no, that's uh, showing the I haven't slept well all week aspect of things and oh the dick pin it's a dick oh hey pin. Gresh in the chat no, I guess I'll refer to him as I know I've known that man for quarter century or so now thank you for joining Holy us man shit. here in our uh, I believe this is the we're on the fifth match of the night things have been progressing at a fairly rapid pace just saw Bill Cosby in the body of a good guy's doll teaming with Chucky to beat the Steiner brothers. Now we got Captain Planet and Darth Vader. Um, I'm not on camera because my camera started going all wonky and now OBS isn't recognizing it. So you see Chris Coran on screen here, the better looking of the two of us. What's up, guys? 
And just had to drop <laughs> in to say, as always, fuck Bill Cosby. Uh, eating pizza and enjoying the show, man. I could go for some pizza right about now. Had some tacos earlier. I had burgers for dinner myself. Nice. If everyone's just going to share what they ate for dinner. So, that's what we had last night. Nice. I, you know, I'm not sure the last time I actually had this. My buddy Sean made burgers in the oven. So, oh, it, it had been a long time since I'd done that, but they were good. I just hey. had, a, I, I'm an idiot. I'm a total idiot. I could just yeah, put myself you. on camera in Discord and put that on the screen because I'm an idiot. <laughs> oh shit, that's my face really large. Um, I want both of us on there. Okay, I'm going to try to... Okay, I'm going to fuck things up, apparently. Hey, Kalani says she makes burgers in the oven as well. Yeah, that's what she did last night. Yeah. I'm trying to keep Twitch open, but I don't have a shit ton of battery left on my phone, so... Okay, I think after the first fall, I'm going to have to go pee, because I've been holding it for a while now. <laughs> Staying hydrated. Yeah, and I'm probably going to grab a sparkling water when I come back from the Banyo. Right, Snoop out there. We normally don't see Snoop this early in the card. It's interesting to see. He's there for all the title. Well, he's there for all the title matches besides the deathmatch title and uh, when you were a tag champ. He had the big city <laughs> goth mill for a... Absolutely. Okay. Oh, well, let's go Cap. I do feel like it's unfair because Darth Vader doesn't even really have to breathe while he has the uh, mask on. So, like, a chokehold or something isn't really going to work on him. Yeah, I don't know. Um, you don't see Captain Planet use... Oh, wait. You don't see Captain Planet use a lot of chokes. Hey, it's showing... Okay. I'm working on fixing the camera so it'll show both of us in Discord. I'll just be mirrored. Oh, so. yeah, like I am all the time. Excuse me. I don't mean to distract from the huge title match that we've got going on right here. And I apologize if I miss anything in the chat. But Captain Planet, oh. for those who weren't uh, around for last year, Captain Planet was always in highly competitive, impressive matches, but he always came up short. And then right at the very end of the year, he decided he was going to risk it all, put his career on the line, to get a shot at the international title, a title he'd never won before. He managed to defeat Darth Vader, and he might do that now. One-winged angel. One-winged angel. Jinx. Two point. Oh, God. 2.9. Captain Planet almost took that first fall. All right. Got to create a separate window capture to get myself on here. Kalani's giving the, the full rundown of how she nice. bakes her burgers. <laughs> oh, wow, yeah. He, yeah. Did, he, he basically kind of did the exact same thing. He didn't use the frozen patties. He used, he got the, the you know, we're classy, so he got the tube of meat. And, oh, we're not classy. Uh, okay, I see how it is. Well, no, I'm just making a joke because I feel like the tube of meat is like the lowest <laughs> form of burger you can get. Oh. Um, oh, God. Another one. No. Oh, then. Oh, still. That's got to do it. Done. First fall's done. Oh, wow. I thought it was done, too, man. All right, watch the ratings drop as I end up back on screen shortly. Boo. <laughs> Force push there from Darth Vader. I think uh, it was. We've only done one that I can remember, and that was on on Mattitude when we were doing weekly MWF streams. Um, it was Will Smith and Carlton Banks against Beavis and Butthead on his day in a number one contender match. <laughs> that was before we had the cool cartoon version. Oh, Beavis and Butthead, Snapdragon suplex there, and are we on screen? Can you see us? Oh, oh God. Down. He's still got several matches left to ref tonight. Oh, the big pile driver from Captain Planet, but 
It's Snoopy and down. No, he got up. Snoop's up. Snoop's up. Two beautiful men, says Good Waffle. Thank you. Good Waffle's going to be on camera with me next Wednesday night. He is a C he's like a sexy looking CM Punk. Just got to remember to try and at least like pull it up for a minute while I'm okay. dynamite talking to y'all. <laughs> Canadian made punk. I just want to know uh, so when you do when you do the uh, when you do the multiverse eight man tournament do uh, do I get a spot? Well, uh, that's the thing. We're doing just uh, <laughs> like actual wrestlers that are on the default yeah. rosters of games. Uh, I was gonna. Ooh. Oh, Captain Planet. Gotta be, gotta be done. So basically, the way we're doing it, I think I mentioned this to you before. It's just um, an open invitation for whatever people are able to join. Like it was gonna be me and Nick next week. We we're gonna do a completely different game. Um, well, and then me and Nick, and then an open invitation to you and Jed, of course. But uh, okay. since oh, Ropes. since we ended up being busy on Thursday, and Good Waffle is now the host, he's more familiar with the N64 era. So we're going to go to WCW versus NWO World Tour Revenge and have a tournament mode. So World Tour is our best oh option for WCW. Eight different wrestling games, eight people in each tournament, and once a, com a competitor is in a tournament in one game, they cannot participate in any of the other ones. Oh, wow. So that makes a strategic element, that is a strategic element to pick in the competitors. That's why I suggested um, a certain SmackDown game with you because Fred Durst is a secret character who's technically <laughs> on the roster. That would be absolutely hilarious. No, Captain Gotta Planet. Be done for the first fall. God Gotta. damn. Oh, this match is going to be oh. 17 days. Mario almost revealed Darth Vader's shoot name. She's going for that old school choke. Captain Planet fighting hard after he went all year. He's a former two time world champion, ladies and gentlemen. He made event to the first ever Matt Mania, defeated the winner of the inaugural. Oh no! Captain Planet just lost the first fall as I was talking up all his accomplishments. Did Former two-time world champion. Coming. He lost ev lost and had one draw with Skeletor, to be fair. Every match he was in last year. Also made it as one of the final two in the um, uh, in the Maximum Crimes Rumble. Sorry, it caught me off guard. I was like, is that... It is two out of three falls, right? But it is. Yeah. And um, as we get the black screen of death once again, Captain Plant's in a must-win situation. Has to take two straight falls to retain that title he fought for. Put his career on the line. Uh, Snoop, yeah. Snoop saw a cut man in between falls. The blood is still all over the map, but Snoop got his forehead uh, probably, I want to say stitched, probably put some glue on there, just tucked it out, some whatever glue they use on blunt wraps it's on Snoop's forehead <laughs> now. All right, I, I got to take a pee break. Got to take right. a pee break. Chris Coron gonna take his webcam in the bathroom and piss directly in front of us. Hopefully Kalani sees that I'm back on camera and if she comes up here puts on pants. You never know if her mom might be watching the stream. If she is, hey, how's it going? I almost said your name, but then I was like, I shouldn't do that. Captain Planet with the cover. Damage is cumulative here. Make sure I stay hydrated. Ah, Kalani, unfortunately, gonna put on some pants. Ruins my night. Here in the second fall, international title on the line. Titty slapping from Captain Planet and a dick stomp from Vader. Snoop Dogg looks on. <laughs> Oh, uh, Chris, uh, chiming in in the chat. Probably spraying everywhere based on the fact he's not holding anything in check. Oh. Big forearms from Captain Planet. Uppercuts from Vader and Captain Planet gets the better of that exchange. Captain Planet again in a must-win situation. 
stealing every single move Kenny Omega has ever used. Oh, man. Anybody in the chat who uh, hasn't followed? Oh, wait, Cap with the cover. Quiet Sunday Library and Good Waffle. Quiet Sunday Library streams Fire Pro. Good Waffle stream streams, not streams, sorry. A variety of things. Every single day for extremely long periods of time. I don't know how he does it, but he's always enjoyable, always enthusiastic. Just a fine Canadian gentleman. I'm not sure what Kalani's idea is. Oh. Have viewers to guess how many have it. God damn it. Captain Planet and Darth Vader are both down. My voice keeps getting higher the more excited I get. And Chris is back. Chris Koran is back. I've got the chat open on my phone. His cab is hypnotized. Alright, I'm back. Darth Vader now with the cover. Only a one count. He only put one foot on the chest, to be fair. How do we have bloodstains on, like, the side, of, on the apron, on the, sorry, the ring skirt? I think, I was looking at that earlier, I think it's part of the logo. No, it's not part of the logo. Um, I have, I turned on another thing in the mods where it, the bloodstains just stay there throughout the entire card. I just didn't realize they were on the ring skirt. We had blood stains from earlier on with Thanos and Hulk, and then actually I think maybe oh, no. like most of the matches. Drinking a seltzer in my Rheingeist. I'm sure no one has any idea what Rheingeist is. It's in the chat. I it's certainly don't. Brewery. It's a brewery out of good old Cincinnati, Ohio. And they make oh. one of my all-time favorite IPAs. Into the corner reapers. <laughs> He's just reading the can. Uh, yeah, catching up with um, the, the, the chat because I saw uh, Kalani say, you took a drink from your water bottle and it gave me an idea. <laughs> and I was like, you know, I'm a massive pervert. Yeah, so that's what I thought. Like, so. Well, okay. Small package. Captain Planet with the small package. I think that's how he won the title. No, Vader with the cover on the shin. No, on the arm. Camera angles mean everything. Dude. If Vader goes to and out, then that's not a good showing for old Capitan. Trying to get to the ropes. Oh, I thought that might do it there. And also, I thought of a, uh, I thought of a fun way to figure out how Jed and I are gonna enter in the in, enter into the Rumble. Oh, how's that? Uh, since it it is very obvious, you're probably going to win this prediction contest since we're already one to four. Oh, really? <laughs> I'm just pick, letting you pick yeah. and then picking the opposite, so... Yeah, I can't pick for shit, apparently, so... Or is it one to three or one to four? Oh, it would have to be one to three. Yeah, because we both got one match wrong, right? Is this, the, is this the fifth match? Yeah. Super kick from Captain Planet going up top. He's going for that cross body. Oh, the drop kick. The drop kick. What's he doing? Oh, Kotar. No. Vader no cells. The choke. The physical choke. Captain Planet just fighting for survival here. Oh, wow. You can't escape. Says you can't escape. Sounding a lot like Kenny Omega for some oh, toss to the outside. This might do it, the force choke again. Captain Planet not even moving, no, oh, barely moving. Being purchased by Disney has increased Vader's powers, of course, a good one. Oh. Uh, oh wait! Not wrong. Two po oh, Captain Planet! Goddamn, so close. I didn't even see the movie hit to lead up to that pin. I was looking at the chat. Uh, 
The fifth lariat. Just trading shots. Not sure I'd do that with a man who's half robot, but also oh, Darth God. Vader. Uh, Captain oh. Planet doesn't really exist. What the hell happened there? <laughs> He hit the lariat, but then that was an really awkward. Oh, they collide. The duration of this match has taken its toll on these two competitors fighting for the international championship here at Zero Hour. Oh, this might this might be what Captain Planet needed. Not satisfied. Boot. Uh oh, they're gonna collide again. <laughs> they collide again. The, the most devastating move in the entire MWF, the rope collision. It took me a year to figure out that if I just put my camera in Discord, then Chris and Jed could see me and everybody else could see me. Bye, God. Uh. <laughs> It's the simple things that I ignore. Snoop Dogg is like, man, I got two other title matches to referee tonight. Could you guys please? Oh, wait. That time Vader stayed down with Captain Planet not going for the cover. I don't know what he's waiting for. Oh, god damn. Oh, mm-mm. Do we have a new champion trying to force Vader into the ropes? And he does. Wow. Giving it everything they have. Captain Planet trying to work out the kinks in his shoulder. Looks like he's out of breath, though. Looks like he's a bitch. Who oh. better win this match? Gotta take two straight falls, but... Over. Says it's over. Big kick to the titties. Is this it? No. Captain Planet, I thought, was going to take the second fall. Mario says there have been some pretty good matches this evening, and I agree. And thank you Man. for that. That's what we go for. Uh, we can't determine how the game's going to act, but we try to put together matches you're going to want to see, and that, well, that we want to see, quite frankly. Especially involving everyone's favorites, the break stuff, but... Victorious tonight over Love Schlack, Mankind, and Cactus Jack. Cap going for the cover after the big boot. It's not enough. He's going for covers after moves that aren't as impactful as some of the other moves. He's oh, fuck. What I'm trying to say is he should cover after these. Yeah, someone should just, like, you know. Like this. Oh, Dunzo. Only two. Holy shit. Both men down once again. I can sense a finish coming. I think that if uh, Darth Vader gets that force choke again, that's going to do it. And Captain Planet, if he can hit the one winged angel, he can take the second fall. I don't know what his chances might be for the third, but. Uh, oh, that's right. Uh-oh. There we go. Now, if you can get up a cover. Uh, can't get up. I picked Darth Vader, but I want to see... I want to see a third fall. Just because it would be kind of depressing to see Captain Planet lose two in a row after fighting so hard to win... Just win a match and to win the title. Is the stream buffering for anyone else, or is it just Mario? Um, somebody else will have to answer that question. It hasn't buffered for me. I have it uh, on my phone, but I haven't been paying attention to my phone. Um, no Except buffering for on my end either. Slugging it out, Captain Planet, Darth Vader, international title on the line. Big well, super the kick is. They did that. The last time they did the super kick, and he turned it into a fucking lariat. So. <sighs> yeah, Captain Planet needs to be covering after these super kicks. I just don't understand. Chopping back and forth. Captain Planet looks dead on his feet. Hey. Oh, snap that off. Things working again for you, Mario? Oh, I'm not doing anything. He's like not going for a pin after he hits a big move. 
And I feel like, I feel like Darth Vader is like, you know, one fortress choke away or one big move of one big move away from I can't see anything. What about now? Uh, yeah, now it's back. Oh, but I'm like one. Oh, yeah, I don't. Know. He's in the ropes. Clearly in the ropes. Well, the camera angles sometimes lie in this game because they're not meant to be. Yeah. Manipulated like that, but you know, it looked like he was clearly in the ropes. Hopefully Mario's back. I don't know. Um, it said I haven't dropped any frames. So I'm not sure. Oh, big knee to the face. Captain Planet again not going for a cover because apparently he just doesn't like being a champion. I don't know. Vader, I'm surprised, has not going, gone up to the top for that cross body. And he's used to put away so many opponents. Or any more force chokes. Oh, yeah, you think that would be his go to move. Mario's back. Oh, he's going for the, the proper choke. It's got to be ball game. An uncivilized choke for an uncivilized world. Oh, big spine buster from Captain Planet. Working the kinks out. Big clothesline, no delivery, no follow-up. Yeah, the, how did Captain Planet manage to win two world titles without ever going for a cup? <laughs> Maybe he's just so tired that he can't process, his brain can't process it. He's got to be back in natural sunlight. Oh, come so on, Captain Planet, just, he just has Omega's moveset, right? I think so, yeah. I didn't create yeah. him. Everything just looks like Kenny Omega does. So both guys down, wrestling like I don't know, two thousand minutes at this point. Oh, the force choke right in the middle of the ring. This has to be it. It's gotta go home. What? How is Captain Planet still surviving? This has been Captain Planet getting his ass kicked for so long. Vader days in the center of the ring, Chris Coran looking at erotic right. text messages. <laughs> yeah, my uh, my buddy telling me that his wife got home from her bunko game. Oh god, that's hot. Just the sexiest. Oh, Darth Vader working on the shoulder. Captain Planet's just got this dazed look on his face like he doesn't even know where he's at. And that's not going to help. Darth Vader is wanting to embarrass Captain Planet for the retaliation for Captain Planet taking the international title from him last month at Christmas Chaos. Kalani says Bunko was wild. I'll have to take a word for it because I've never played. I don't know what the hell Bunko is. Some so, kind of card game, right? Yeah. You can't escape. Snoop Dogg just like, come on, man. Come on, y'all. I got blunts to smoke, things to do. I got homework to do, but instead, I watched Good Waffle stream while well, I was doing other things while watching it. Then I'm here. It's Vader. Oh no, looking for that Lariat again, but not able to connect. A knee. A knee is taking it out of both of them. I don't know the last time anyone went for a pinfall. Yeah. I'm not sure. It's been a few minutes at least. I'm just hoping this, uh... Oh, he is clearly in the ropes. I don't think Snoop cares anymore. Just <laughs> like, fuck it. He called for the break. Oh, Captain Planet stomping a mud hole. Mud is part of... Mud is a form of earth and water mix. It is two of his parts. He loves it. But not enough to go for a cover. Poison Rana. Poison. That's not Captain Planet's thing. Oh. No, well, there are poisonous plants which technically come yeah. from the earth. That's true. 
Captain Planet gonna hit a super kick followed by Vader hitting a spinning clothesline. Fuck yeah! <laughs> yeah. If someone doesn't go for a pin soon, we might have to reach out to Jonathan because this is bullshit. Is it just that it's going on too long or you're not liking the match? What the fuck? Oh god! Oh. Captain Planet flying! I wish you could break the announce tables. Yeah, there's... We need to get things modded so that we're on the announce tables. <laughs> Vader posing for the camera. Mario says this could have been the main event. I actually thought about making it the main event just because of the two out of three falls and just the fact that it's... This rivalry's been going on for a while. Captain Planet fought He's so hard. Hero. He's going to take pollution down to zero. Well, it's zero hours, so maybe he's going to take zero hey. falls, and this, he's going to win zero falls in this match. Rolling dice, winning prizes, drinking wine, hearing all the neighborhood gossip from your mom's friends. Bunko's wild. <laughs> Bunko mania is running wild. So the, uh, like a bunkhouse brawl or whatever, we could have a Bunko brawl. The next show... Oh no, not the next show. The next show is Maximum Carnage. February 16th. I got a thing prepared for that. That's just I put out a tentative schedule trying to organize all the different weekly streams we're doing, so the dates almost are always subject to uh, to be altered if necessary. Captain Play with a cover! Only a two count. Chris didn't even look at it. Therefore did it really exist. Yeah, no one's getting two point nines anymore, so I'm wondering if we're having problems again. Yeah, I don't know. I hope, I hope not, but uh, see, I haven't seen Vader go for any anything. Yeah. Oh god, Vader with the falling to a kick to the shin. I hope it's not broken because the title is on the line. <laughs> I think the only time we've had problems before was with excessive weapons, and there are no weapons here. Yeah, but I'm wondering what I have to do with all the blood stains everywhere. Hmm. Oh! What the hell's going on here? Chop to the ass! Chris can see us now. Yeah. I know you can't hear him, but I, can't. I would offer you this, but you don't you can't use it anyway. So Tell Darth Vader and Captain Planet are trying to figure out if they're broken or not. Um, <laughs> we had blood stains from previous matches, and I don't know what to do. Hmm. I just want to see Vader go for a pin pinfall or a. Yeah. Submission. I know you're very excited about this. I am. <laughs> you're excited about the body. I was just teasing. Uh, the plethora of, of water bottles I'm guessing. In any room in our house at any given time, there are no less than 8 million <laughs> water bottles. Um, that will open a water and drink oh, half of it and then. The next time he wants the water, he'll go to the fridge and get new water. Well, because the fridge waters are cold and delicious. Man, you just gotta, you just gotta power oh. through that last half. Oh, oh my god. You Captain just gotta power through that last half sometimes, man. Just pick it up and just chug the whole thing. Power through that last half. You get the last of the end. Also. <laughs> oh, the force choke. Is he in the ropes, though? Oh, he's in the ropes. Are you kidding me? Fuck. Google almost says that this is the Don Cheadle version of Captain Planet. The match would have been over in five seconds that ring the crowd would have turned <laughs> into a fucking tree. I just want to see Darth Vader actually go for a submission or a pin, not in the row. Oh, look at him. Oh. <laughs> oh, yeah. I feel my man. <laughs> this match is 17 hours long. I think your wedding is going to take place before this match finishes. Solid <laughs> Oh, Chris said he thinks the wedding's gonna take place before the match ends. Yeah, we're gonna have to 
I, I want to I want to wait for Vader see Vader do something, but if it doesn't end soon, we have to call. Him. Two point. We're oh. getting two point nine. So your theory, mate. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. I know, but I I, I like my theory because that means that it might end at some point. Well, your theory of not getting two point nine means it would never end. But yeah, that's true. Now that we did. Oh. <laughs> No, it's, it's cool, Tom. Uh, no, you, it, I just appreciate that you're watching. Oh, God. Captain Planet is... is he, oh, he's going to go for a cover. Chris. 2.9. Is that Tom? It is. Oh, hi, Tom. <laughs> I was wondering. I saw the last name, and I, I didn't know. Um, but now I know. Oh, the sleeper slam. Is Bayer going to... No, he's not going to go for the cover. Matt or uh, Grosh, Tom, I don't know what I'm supposed to call you. Uh, Grosh. Grosh. Grosh, my bad. I also just set up a turntable recently. For some reason, you're much quieter now, Chris. I don't know if it's just... No, I'm talking or... quieter. I was talking quieter. Yeah, I set up a turntable recently as well. Matt, did I send y'all a picture of that? I don't think you did. Okay. Uh, I will after the stream of in the rope. God damn it! Fuck me! I'm not sure what to do because the first ball went by. I'll, I'll... Force choke. Tap out. Just tap out. How did? How is he surviving this? I don't understand. I know I picked you to win, but just fucking give up. Yeah, just for... Oh wait! That's tough. <laughs> Two falls in a row, it took 80 years, by God, but Darth Vader has won. Chris is like, I just got a text saying, hey, come over and I'll suck your dick. And he's been waiting for the show to him. I was actually updating the, uh, the, the <laughs> wow. thing because it's now one to four. 47-43 total. Jesus. Wow. No, that was the second fall, not the total. The total oh, yeah? would have been like one, an hour and two because the first one went like 17 minutes. Well, coming up next, we've got Godzilla taking on Beetlejuice, and based on Godzilla's matches, I think this one might not last as long as the last contest did. And I, and I think we're agreeing on this one, right? Yeah, well, you're the only person who's ever picked against Godzilla, and that's when you correctly picked King Kong to beat him, but uh, I'm going with Godzilla. I'm definitely going with Godzilla. Lonnie, do you have a pick? Godzilla or Beetlejuice? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> Brilliant insight from my future wife. It's a good thing she's pretty. Like, no. Oh. oh. No, she's much smarter than I am. She just doesn't uh, quite appreciate the nuances of Godzilla versus Can't Beetlejuice. Can't be that smart if she well, ended up you with asked, you. Do I, have, <laughs> you asked, yeah. do I have a pick? And the answer Dude. is no. If you asked, who's your pick, Beetlejuice or Godzilla, I would have been forced to pick one and I would have oh, thought of one. Right. So just like I, I picked up lunch at this restaurant one day um, a couple months ago, and I was at the counter oh. checking out, and the guy he didn't ask me if I wanted anything else because if I if he said oh do you want anything else I would have said no, but he specifically he looked right at me and he said do you want a cookie and um. I was like yes I want a cookie yeah of Duh. course I do oh, the myth. so how you work how you word things. Uh, yeah, I told you she was smarter than me. Godzilla took the mist from Beetlejuice while Kalani was making me look like a complete idiot. No, I wasn't. Her favorite I was, pasta. I was talking over your, your show. I can't believe I'm you're sorry. not going to tell no, me the awesome I burn I had on you. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah, Beetlejuice just lifted up Godzilla in a sequel. I need to... um. <laughs> oh, yeah, we turn off the... Oh, Godzilla looking all misty there. Turn off the uh, cameras during the entrances as long as I don't forget. So that's why, where we went. Nick Fury, the referee for this contest. So um, Godzilla and King Kong faced off for the world title at Godzilla versus Kong. Oh, what? Up there on the ropes. Back in November, Godzilla had been the world champion for 18 months or so. Undefeated. King Kong undefeated, but started later than Godzilla did. King Kong managed to win the match as Godzilla's grabbed a scythe. Kong won the match with a full Nelson. Didn't make Godzilla tap out. He made him pass out from the pain. Kool-Aid Man cashed in his coronavirus cup right after. Took the title from a weakened Kong. As a result, King Kong and Godzilla both 
going after the uh, the other two guys in the New World Horror, Beetlejuice and Alien. Godzilla gave Alien his first loss last month. King Kong beat Beetlejuice. Now they switched Dane's partners, so to speak, looking to uh, earn their way back to another world title shot against the Kool-Aid Man. <laughs> yeah, she's like, I've heard enough of your No, boy. no, it's, um, it's just... <laughs> I know you got... It's hot up here. And yeah. Well, or is it just you? Just oh, wow. Oh. oh, it's not me. Nice move by Beetlejuice. Very well Thank you well for done. joining Very us. Very well Thank you for having me. Thank you for listening to my story about the guy asking me if I wanted a cookie. <laughs> I appreciate everyone calling me. <laughs> <laughs> Bye, uh, Kalani. Chris says, bye, Kalani. Yes, Beetlejuice reverses. All right, hey, bye, I everybody. said it nicer than that. Yeah, sorry. Was, I got interrupted by it. Sorry. Oh, big choke thing. Say, I was going to say gross when y'all smooched, but then she said she loved you, and that made it sweet. Aw. Godzilla hit that choke slam and a big lariat, but not enough for the cover. I appreciate the bang or the uh, uh, the bang bros couch you have in the background too. <laughs> Casting, Casting couch. couch. That's the yeah. word I'm looking for. From Ashley Home Furniture. <laughs> oh, Beetle's just going for his flip floppy de flu, as Jed would say. Shout out to Jed. We wish you were here, homie. Always. Oh, Hopefully. Uh, oh wow. The move was bullshit. 2.9 from Beetlejuice. <laughs> Mario says it's surreal to see Godzilla without the title, and I agree. It's still, it's even weirder seeing Kool Aid Man with the title just because the way he wears it. Godzilla's like, what the fuck? This is the reason we don't have disqualifications because of tricks yeah, like I've this. Gotten, it, it feels weird to see Godzilla not close the show. Yeah, definitely. So. Beetlejuice has put up a lot better fight than I expected him to. Yeah. And Beetlejuice did, uh, oh shit, going for the cover again? Two. Godzilla's okay. starting I to get pissed. Was, I, thought, I thought it might happen. I think Beetlejuice, uh, so Beetlejuice made his debut in the same Coronavirus Cup tournament as Godzilla. Well, they both qualified first, but their pay-per-view debuts. And Beetlejuice advanced to the second round. Two. Jesus. Doing the, doing the New World Horror proud here against Godzilla. Godzilla hit that knee drop. That's where we used to beat Goldberg, but... Ooh! Oh! Saying it's over. He just wants to... I think he might be focused more on just punishing Beetlejuice than trying to get the victory. Yeah. He'll, he'll take a loss, but... I, I don't know. I don't think he'll be happy with the loss, but I think that he's yeah. just not really... Oh, God! I love how biting is legal, but he can still break it by getting to the rope. I just think it's insane. Like this, this has not gone the way He's in the ropes. either of us expected it to. No, we both picked Godzilla, and I thought it was going to be like a sub ten minute Fire Pro Time match. Another one. Oh, Godzilla yeah, no sell. Not even a fucking one count. No selling immediately. Godzilla is furious. Continually grabbing the uh, <laughs> scythe. Scythe? Yeah. yeah. But then doing nothing with it. Punch him in the back, signal it's over, grab the scythe. All the big knee drop, all the Godzilla weight on top of Beetlejuice. Mm -hmm. So anticlimactic, but oh my god, he did it. That's what he used to beat Goldberg, so I knew Beetlejuice was not kicking out of that. Yeah. Godzilla, all that weight landed on the back of the head. Beetlejuice looked impressive. I got to give him credit for that. The King Kong knee drop. Maybe he was trying to send a message there because King Kong handed him his first loss. I didn't realize he called it that, but maybe, uh, maybe it's. Oh, good waffle said bye to Kalani. Apparently, I was not paying attention to the chat. Six man tag team match. Joe Exotic, re a real life fucking tiger, and Zombie Carol Baskin from the Exotic Ministry. 
Joe Exotic and a real life fucking tiger sold their souls to the Undertaker in order for him to use necromancy to resurrect Carol Baskin, who was killed in a loser leaves life match by New Jack. Carol Baskin is now a zombie under the under the control of Joe Exotic, and they all serve the Undertaker, their Dark Lord. Did you see they found they found her husband who's not dead? What? Yeah, apparently he wasn't murdered. Are you fucking serious? Yes. I have not heard anything about this. Wow, I really should have found out about this before the stream got was made. But she's dead, so it doesn't matter. Their marriage is legally... He's yeah. free to, like, fuck other people. Well, you know... I mean, I mean he probably already was. Yeah. Oh, right. yeah, that's right. Yeah. Oh, well, this is a very complicated situation. Alright, I'm going with Nintendo Power. You can join me or go with the three. Oh, I gotta turn off the fucking free cam. I'm sorry. This is not going to work for tag team matches at all. No, yeah, we'd just be trying to focus on everything all at once, wouldn't it? Yeah. Everything, everywhere, all at once, but not as entertaining as the movie has been. I haven't seen it, but I've heard good things. Nintendo power all the way. Yeah, the, the stream's choppy for me. Well, like, the, the, the Discord stream is choppy for me, but the stream stream seems to be working fine. So... Oh. Sorry, I'm not sure what to do about that. No, no, you're fine. As long as Nintendo Power wins, that's all I care about. Mario has no neck. He just has no <laughs> neck. I gotta figure out a good time to to pause and interrupt with the uh, the announcements, even though I've already talked. I just wanted to show the video from PWA show and then also the graphic for the stream of Good Waffle. <laughs> Nintendo we Power, the former. Oh shit, sorry, what was that, Chris? We could do the PWA one right off this. Yeah, I thought the Tiger might have had him right there. This has been all. Uh, exotic know, Ministry? Tiger Ministry. Or yeah, Exotic Ministry. Tiger <laughs> Ministry is what I was going to call him. But... Samus went for the cover and uh, only got a one count on what should have been at least two. Well, there's a submission applied, that's why you didn't slam it in yeah. counting. Going for another cover there. The Exotic Ministry undefeated so far. They won a uh, four on four match alongside The Undertaker and then a trios match last month. Tiger with a nice roll up. Joe and Tiger, former two time tag team champions, our first ever tag team champions. They won the titles at the first two Matt Manias, actually, but uh, now they've turned their backs on the fans, joined up with The Undertaker and Zombie Carol Baskin. Nintendo Power, they've. Uh, Lost two matches in a row, both to the current trio's champions with the titles on the line. Pennywise, Freddy Krueger, Michael Myers. Those three are going to be in action defending their titles against the MAGA powers in a little while. God damn it, if the fucking MAGA powers win those belts, oh, I'm going to be so pissed. Mario's sitting on the Tiger's face! Tiger's used that move himself before. I mean, haven't we all? <laughs> In a match. Oh, okay. Oh! Mario sitting on the face of Carol Bass. Just to you say Mario in my mind goes to the chat uh, automatically. Every, every time you Super say it, Mario. I instinctively look over at chat, so. Oh shit, lead assault. Jesus. The trajectory of that one is almost disastrous. But... Yeah, this <laughs> Oh, the spinner Rudy for Joe Exotic. Yeah. Oh, the tiger with the worm. Perfect timing. Carol Baskin, that Ekembe Matumbo finger wag. He's actually going to hit it on the appropriate body part. Is he? Oh, a Joe Exotic is there too. Yeah. Is your uh, is the stream in Discord any better now for you? Yeah, it's it's not choppy anymore. It is not choppy anymore. Double power bomb to. Double you know, power bomb to Samus and a moonsault to Mario. Holy shit, Nintendo Power is getting Oh, look at the tiger teabagging Samus. The tiger is teabagging Samus. Carol Basket. Oh, wow. Exotic Ministry, two out of the three of them doing quite well right now. Right, Nintendo Power's got to figure out a way to get back into this. They've just been reeling ever since uh, losing the titles. 
But the exotic ministry, I mean, Tiger and Joe have been teaming together for an extremely long time, going on three years now, and Zombie Carol Baskin does whatever Joe orders her to. Oh, Zombie Carol knocked out, though, with that uppercut. <laughs> Mario's saying, get her off me in the chat. Oh, the Mario, Super Mario being grabbed by the balls by chaos here because of the Cobra hey. rule. No, no king shaming to our Mario if that's what oh, he's no. into, though. <laughs> Link strangling the tiger. Carol Baskin with a couple of moonsaults there. Oh, Mario! Mario with a fireball! Where'd he get the flower from? Slimer did not check him for flowers. Covered by Samus. I don't think we made picks in this match, did we? Uh, I said Nintendo no power. I'll go with the exotic mid. Hey, 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 I picked right up. I don't know. I... Well, that was perfect timing. I'm just picking the opposite of you now. Oh, did Lake Lake just knocked out Joe Exotic after he did the spin Rudy in celebration? Good. Tiger Driver 91, the real life fucking tiger pinning Samus Aaron. Coming up next, though, we've got the leader of the Exotic Ministry, the Dark Lord, the Undertaker, coming out of his tiger pants, taking on Jason Voorhees in a match stemming from our Christmas Wish Battle Royal last month. You want to tell everybody what happened, Chris? They got eliminated at the same time. Jason sacrificed himself to eliminate the Undertaker, right? Yeah, he just took Undertaker out of the apron and I think power bombed him or choke slammed him off there. Leader of the New World, or I'm sorry, of the Four Horror Men and the leader of the Exotic Ministry. This is unfair to me. Uh, I guess uh, I should probably pause it. Oh, yeah. At the start the of this match. Alright. Just gotta go crack open OBS here. Uh, we're gonna have the Fire Pro crowd noise in the background, but I guess it doesn't matter. Anyway. Oh, hey, it messed up the desk scene when I had to switch the cameras to Discord. Alright. Anyway, um, last Saturday I went to a wrestling show and some shit happened. The video kind of speaks for itself. Chris, you're not going to be able to see this live because of how I'm streaming the game to you, but you got Twitch open on your phone. I'm not sure if the audio from the, I'm not sure if the audio from the game. Sorry for the I got to decimate several of the wrestlers and see a line in and around. I got the shit beat out of me. Left a huge mark on my face. You can see that on social media. Um, thankfully, in the last five days, it feels quite good. I'm humiliated after getting four of them in the face twice and then picked up and dropped the super out of the other, burst the ball the point of the boot of the guy on the ground hit me in the eye. I'm looking forward to that show quite a bit. Paid money to get Kalani got shut down by Cardini. Proud he went on, they, they hit a Penta driver on a referee through a table. It was just pure chaos out there. PWA back to the game just wanted to uh show that during a break in the action and who'd you say you're taking you're taking taker oh i gotta i gotta take the taker i know you're gonna pick jason and like i've been picking the opposite of you so <laughs> uh, 
Uh, I mean, but this is, oh, this was a tough one for me. It's like one of my all-time favorite horror characters against one of my all-time favorite professional wrestlers, so. Oh, Tom's got to go. Thank you for stopping by, man. So glad to have you here. Hopefully you got to, well, you saw the clip on Facebook anyway. Um, I don't know, again, I don't know if the audio came across on Twitch, but it wasn't the important part. Thanks for stopping by. Fair Bear is like already tired of <laughs> seeing these guys. Like I don't, I'm not gonna be able to control these dudes. Now is Fair Bear? I may have asked this before. Any relation to Cody Rhodes? Cody Rhodes' old associate, Business Bear? <laughs> um, to be perfectly honest, I am not sure. I'm not sure what the, the whole family of bears how that how that works. Um, oh, Crucifix Power Bomb used by Thanos earlier. Now Jason busting that out. Leader of the Four Horsemen, former international champion. Currently, his uh, three cohorts in the Four Horsemen holding those trios titles. And they're going to be defending those against the, mega, the MAGA powers, I'm sorry, next after this matchup. I, I think I know how we're both going in that one. Yeah. I, I've never picked the MAGA. We faced off against the MAGA powers. Me, Chris, Jed, Ooh. back at Matt Mania 3. And we Ooh, ended up defeating boy. them. I got that schoolboy on Mike Pence as Jed speared the shit out of Trump and Chris was like on the ground being there. Yeah. My, my first couple matches in the MWF did not fare well for me. I think I only lasted like a minute and a half in the <laughs> Maximum Carnage Rumble. Didn't do much in our trios match. Then I won the tag belts. Yeah. And things started to pick up a bit. You won a... Uh... After we beat the MAGA Powers, you ended up teaming with Danhausen as Koronhausen, wearing the face paint. Very honky, very donkey, coming out there beating <laughs> Trump and Magazord. And that's what your Chiron said on there. It was very honky, very donkey. I put Koronhausen in one of the simulations when I was trying to make sure everything was right with the ring on here. The jack off. Powerbomb. The Jackoff Powerbomb is the greatest it's move name I've ever seen. such a good name. You picked and the Jackknife you... as your finisher, and I had this pick uh, the name. Mario it's says... One of my all -time. It's oh, still ahead. one of my all-time favorite finishers, so... Yeah. Oh, Jason's the cover. Mario says he never thought you'd see the day when these two clashed. I want to say it's their first matchup. I'm not 100% sure. We used so. to run with Magnitude every week. We saw a lot of matchups that we might not see these days. So, yeah, at this point, I think it's safe to say you've got this in the bag for the prediction contest, so I think at the end of this, we don't have to necessarily do this on air, but I'm going to roll my uh, D20 twice, and Jed is going to take the lower of the two numbers that comes out, and I'll take the higher one, since he's not here. And those can be our numbers, and then, you know... How do I determine my number, then? Because I thought... I knew it was, like... Whoever won the prediction contest got to enter the latest out of the three of us, but so you're are you going to pick all our numbers? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I mean, I can. I can just roll it three times and we can all come in before number 20. See, I, I don't think that anybody would actually care enough to notice, but uh, as Jason tries to suffocate the Undertaker, I wore the shirt and uh, shirt jeans and, well, not the same shoes, though that uh, my character is wearing in the game, so that's what I wore to the PWA show when I was going to be attacked. I don't have the, the shirt I have in my character's outfit anymore. Oh, Shout out to Aaron Clemens for designing those characters for us. He designed the appearance. I, he designed me without a shirt, and <laughs> I put a shirt on <laughs> myself because, yeah, I didn't want to be the only weird topless guy. Good Waffle says Jack Off is a type of finisher in more ways than one, and uh, yeah, that is absolutely. A Undertaker, I can't tell if he's bleeding or if his face has just been bruised. The Undertaker here who associates with the Tiger. We got a bear as a referee. We've got a man who looks like a lion was turned into a sexy human in commentary. 
before Chris Coran. Ah! <laughs> Is this gonna do it? With that choke slam and whatever you want to call the suffocation. <laughs> Jason is like, I don't know what I'm doing here. I'm just trying to beat the shit out of something. Bye. Oh, and again, suffocating the Undertaker. Come on, tap out, Taker. Be a bitch. Be a bitch. Undertaker does not tap out very often. Yeah, he also doesn't fight undead Jason Voorhees that often either. That is true. Hmm? Oh, an Alabama slam of sorts there from Jason. Oh, man, I wish we could get uh, an alternate Jason for like a cage match or something where he's Uber Jason from Jason X. We might be able to do that. There are oh, different versions is. of Jason available. Oh, wow, Jason, this is the way he won the international title last year. Double power bomb into the oh, Death Valley driver, but Undertaker's from Death Valley. If he knows how to kick out of that, if anybody does, if you can. Uh oh. 2.9. Oh, I thought he was in the Come ropes on. at first. Tombstone. Shit. The leader of the exotic ministry pinning the dick of Jason. Pinning, pinning the, the dick. dick. Oh. Pinning the dick. Not enough. Jason going to the spear. His dick's been touched. Thing. She's in a frenzy. Getting down to the nitty gritty as these two are slugging it out here. Oh God! Undertaker. Oh. No cells. Back up with the clothesline of his own. Oh no! He's gonna do the choke slam to the Undertaker again. Not able to capitalize this time. Forking the shit out of the Undertaker. Is he gonna go old school? I don't know if he can do that in this game. I don't know if rope walking is a thing in Fire Pro. Jason just looking real tired. Oh wait, Undertaker's showing him how it's done with that choke slam. Oh, that might be it. Might be ball game. Oh, only two. No way. This has to do it unless he's in the ropes. Has gotta be in the ropes, yeah. Oh, he's dragging him back toward the ropes. He's under the ropes. Camera angle says no. Bear says no. Only what? a two? Not even a 2.9. Holy shit. Again? Are you shit? Oh, no. By God, he went to the well one too many times, and I almost forgot to say by God. By I used to God. say it like 80 times a stream. I know. I'm... Oh, no. This is what he did. This is how the elimination happened in the Rumble. Oh. Jason just... Slamming Undertaker there. Off the apron and now choking the shit out of him, but he can't get a win. Can't get a win outside the ring. There it is. The old standby. Ooh. Just getting a bunch of weapons out. Use it once, drop it, grab another. Vintage chase. The exotic ministry victorious early by Undertaker, their leader, in trouble with Jason grabbing all these weapons. Oh, all of them. Undertaker would do well to get Jason back in the ring. Oh, wait, or not. Tombstone on the floor. The reverberation. Back in the ring. I can feel the vibrations at the commentary table. It would help if you hit him with the part with the barbed wire, wire, Jason. Yeah. Instead of the. Uh... Oh shit. Yeah, tap out, Taker. You, you do that all the time. All the time? All the time. The fork as a submission hold. Oh, another missed spear. 
Chase him with the cover. How crazy it would have been if that had ended it. <laughs> Fortunately, it did not. Nice. Undertaker tanking Jason to the center of the ring. Another match for the ages, says Mario in a donkey punch oh. style boot to that. <laughs> Donkey, a donkey, donkey, donkey kick. Style boot. Yeah. <laughs> oh shit. That's gotta do it. Undertaker refusing to tap because it's he's the center of the ring, man. It's not his gimmick. He doesn't tap. Choke slam. Oh my god. What's Jason? Oh no. Oh my god. Oh. That he's not covering. What? Why no? Why no cover, man? Come on. Uh, that easily would have put him away. The last ride! It's over. Oh yeah, lick his ass on the way down. The last oh, ride. Over. And that does it. The leader of the Exotic Ministry in an incredibly hard fought match. The Undertaker coming out on top. It's not even going to talk about the uh, results of the, of the poll. Of, of the uh, match prediction contest, because fuck you, Matt. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> All right, moving right for... along. Turn off free cam. I did. That's what I was just doing. All right. Good waffles is great match. Thank you for all oh, the MAGA powers here. MAGA Zord. Very aesthetically pleasing. Very morally dubious. Shit. Got way too many things open in OBS. Don't close all the porn. No, in OBS. I don't even have a web browser open. Born in OBS. Just recording it. Here we go. Oh, oh look at those sexy retain, purple baby. belts. Stamps retaining, baby. You know what? Another weird thing is like the only team or the only wrestlers at all to not wear their belts out to the title matches were Fred Durst and Chris Cohen as the tag team champions. Yet, when I did a, a simulation, Chris came in for a run-in and uh, was wearing the title belt. So, even though he's not the champion anymore. You know. I, I never said we were giving the belts back when we lost them. <laughs> right. Trio's title's on the line, the MAGA powers, and three of the four horror men, Jason, not able to pick up a win. Put on a hell of a performance just a few moments ago. Oh, 3D from Freddie and Mike. 3D to Donald Trump. Cover. Oh, that could have done it if Magazor didn't. Crazy. <laughs> Donald Trump's been around since the first show, made it to the finals of the uh, first ever Coronavirus Cup, our first ever show, April 3rd, 2020. Ooh. Anyways, anyways we're we're made it to the finals of the 2020 election and didn't win that either. Ah, <laughs> yeah. That's a good point. Yeah, I think... Oh, another 3D. Chris and I both going for the horror men. Mario going for the horror men. I apologize for my Donald Trump hatred, but I'm not going to, so... Oh, there's no need. <laughs> I've gotten word from the MWF commissioner, Jonathan, the blind gay sex crazed giant tortoise. Sent word from backstage through my earpiece here that as a result of their victory earlier tonight, Joe Exotic, a real life fucking tiger, and Zombie Carol Baskin, the exotic ministry, are going to get a shot at the trio's titles at Maximum Carnage February 16th against the winner of this match. What? They're 2 0 as trios. They won that four-on-four -four match alongside The Undertaker, so I think they're the only only team in the trios division besides the champs that uh, haven't taken a loss yet. Yeah, I'm six and one as a as a uh, one -on -one competitor, a tag competitor. Who was my trios title show? Oh, you've only been in one trios match, and it was with me and Jed at Matt Mania. And we won. We did. We're going to be in the Rumble next month, though. Yeah, I'm winning the Rumble next month. Well, you're going to have maybe not a harder time than Jed, but a harder time than me, at least in theory. Yeah, true. No, it's not. How many more matches are there? Uh, 
uh, three, including this, uh, four, including this. Uh, yeah. <laughs> That's, uh, I, I still think it's mathematically impossible for me to for me to win at this point because yeah, we both have the same. Well, yeah, we, no, yeah, we picked the same. Here. You didn't pick the mag attack. Yeah, you know, you, I would rather jump. Oh no, Trump covered Freddy. Two cam only. Mario still hasn't forgiven the horror men for Freddy and Michael specifically for murdering Donald and Goofy. Something Disney happened. Dynasty were the heels. I mean, come on. I haven't seen Aladdin since that either. Well, Aladdin and Winnie the Pooh kind of tried teaming up as well as singles matches for a while and just didn't do so well. Aladdin, for a while, looked like a strong singles contender, but kind of fell off. Still mad at still mad at Cody Rhodes about last year, by the way. Cody Rhodes debuting by taking out Spider-Man, stealing his number 30 spot in the Rumble. <laughs> yeah, it's hard, Mario, when we only got one show a month to feature everybody. What's that? Does absolute does hypnotizing case. actually do anything? I don't know. I've, I really have no fucking clue how that's supposed to work. Oh god, Mike Pence with some sort of driver type movement. Michael Myers up before. <laughs> we've already seen uh, two title changes tonight. Actually, both title matches we've had so far have been title changes. Ugh. So we got the tag titles on the line. New Jack and OJ Simpson defending. Oh god. In our semi-main event of the evening. What Magazord plays is going for that German suplex. She's hard to keep up. What did he just do? He was looking for a, a deadlift German, it looked like. It's hard to keep up thanks to the thanks to the co runner. Well you know, your boy has to get to bed eventually. <laughs> Okay, Magazord looking like he's out of breath. These guys. Freddy's out on the apron. Oh no. Oh, nice. Freddy's Ooh. sacrificing himself to take out Magazord. We've seen Pence do some crazy stuff. He busted out a power bomb off the top rope that knocked Barack Obama unconscious a couple of years ago. Just hit the uh, pile driver on the kendo stick, and now just standing there. And oh, Myers is bleeding through his mask. Yeah. Mike Pence has been practicing his MMA. Apparently, stream's getting kind of choppy for me again. Uh, uh, it's okay. 3D on Magazord. Trump now with the cover though. Not happening. Oh god, 2.9 on Myers. Now Myers looking for a submission on Trump. Freddy looking for a submission on Magazord. He called it! It's over! Trump tapped! My voice got raised by like eight octaves. Trump tapped. My god. Mike Pence looks like he's about to keel over. Magazord's crotch is thrusting on its own, convulsing. <laughs> Oh, don't like that. Don't like that one bit. <laughs> Alright, King Kong versus Alien. I can turn the free cam back on for this match. Gotta go King Kong, right? Even though Alien has a disembodied leg, apparently. Oh, uh, you know what? Um, if you're going for King Kong, then I'll go with Alien. He's Alien was undefeated until that match with Godzilla, so... Even though Kong has dominated a lot of the guys in space, Alien has looked impressive as well. Former yeah, world champion. Yeah, for 10 minutes. Yeah. My God. I gotta pee, but I'm afraid of missing a, a potential finish. I don't know if this is just gonna 
be King Kong going out there and cleaning house because he's so pissed at the New World Order. Go pee, I got this. Once the screen Great. actually comes Two up. more seconds. <laughs> there you go, alright. There it is. Sasquatch referee in this matchup. So Alien undefeated up until last month. A lot of those matches were alongside the New World Horror and 4 on 4 contest. So it wasn't like King Kong and Godzilla where they were out there in singles matches every time. Uh, come on. Alien is uh, not making my prediction look good here in the early going. Eh, CMWF. Whenever we start rooting for someone, the other person is going to take it. And that just looks awkward. I want to figure out a way to make predictions a thing with channel points in the chat because yeah. uh, especially with us doing tournaments the next two weeks we're going to be doing oh alien with a cover next wednesday and, and then the count. thursday after that we're going to be doing king of the ring tournaments uh well it's the master of the multiverse but they're king of the ring tournaments in the game next wednesday with good waffle and wcw versus nwo world tour the week after that game to be determined The rotation's going to be at the NMW show in WWE 2K22 in the early portion of the month. MWF in the mid to latter portion and then the other weeks. For right now, we're doing these tournaments. We're leaving our options open in terms of other types of wrestling content we can throw in there on a weekly basis. But it's just going to be basically whoever feels like joining it in any given night. And we'll be doing commentary. We might even end up playing some games if we can mess with Parsec and get things running on everybody's... Respected machines. Nice. Oh, a big spear from Alien. Big like a spear lot. from Alien. Staying hydrated. Do you have a fridge? Nope. <laughs> Just the bottles yeah. that Kalani was talking about. I thought about getting the uh, Xbox Series X mini fridge, but of course it sucks as a fridge, according to everybody. Shocked, truly. Definitely start doing predictions for channel points is good waffle. Well, if I can, uh, it should be a difficult process. I mean, I haven't really looked into it, but I'd imagine it has to be a fairly simple thing. That's Try to get a camera that angle. Oh, yeah, that Half the second. ropes are gone. Half of King Kong's face may be gone after this. Jesus. After uh, Big Titty Goth Milk, it's Bigfoot your favorite referee. Just because I know you love Sasquatch. It's Sasquatch is its yeah. official name in the game. I think so. Who loves Sasquatch? Oh, apparently it only takes 30 seconds this good while, so. Whoa, whoa. Give up. Give up. So for those of you who weren't here for us talking about it earlier, the Master of the Multiverse Tournament, we had Wonder Woman use her Christmas wish to unlock knowledge of the multiverse for everyone in every universe. And now... We've got eight different wrestling games. Oh god, the whippity do from the alien. I'm sorry for the interruption. It might be ball game. I'll always mark out for the whippity do. Oh, uh, me too. <laughs> Another cover. The eight different wrestling games set in eight different universes. The winners of those eight tournaments compete in one final tournament, which is going to be in either WWE 2K22 or 2K23, depending on if that comes out in the spring and what all happens. We'll find out. No Mercy, Stone Cold Steve Austin defeated China in the first tournament that Nick and I co-hosted last <laughs> Thursday. And uh, coming up next week with Good Waffle, I'm going to show a graphic before the end of the stream, but we did WCW vs. NWO World Tour. I was going to space out those N64 games, but he's more familiar with the Nintendo 64 era of wrestling games than I wanted to... Oh, another whippity do! My voice raises. It's over. It's got to be. It's over, what? baby. God damn. The disrespect. King Kong smothering the alien xenomorph. Uh oh, this might do it. Sexy pin. That's huge. God damn, you called that one. Chris gets another prediction, correct? Yeah, yeah the uh, this puts me slightly 
Uh, it's still out of possibility, but I'm feeling such a bitch about it now. 78% of the Kong Crusher. All right, we got... Only a two, two and a half star rating. Eh? All right, I'm going to uh, take a quick bathroom break, then I'll get us back on camera when I return. Tag titles coming up, second to last match. New Jack and OJ Simpson, Murderer's Row, defending against Batman and Robin. Let's go Batman and Robin. Fuck OJ Simpson. Fuck OJ Simpson. I don't know what to say when it's just me, so... Yeah, you're gonna have to listen to me like awkwardly sing to myself. Boo. Also, sorry, my stream's still kind of choppy, so... Like, you guys are only literally about a second behind me, so I apologize if I'm not really calling the, the, the match content as it's happening. And black screen of death. Ooh, how good is that sound? Oh shit! Coming in with OJ hitting a big spear. Batman, New Jack, and Chop. That's also with the Chop now. Oh no, he's got the free camera right, on yeah, still. Shit! Yeah, I'm gonna get it now. <laughs> There it is. There we go. All right, we're back. Yay. I still had one earbud in so I could hear everything. Oh, okay. OJ with the cover already. OJ goes for that spear a lot. doesn't hit it very often. Though. Are you taking the chance to retain? Not that it matters, but are you taking the chance to retain? Yeah, I think Batman and Robin as a tag team have always uh, ended up disappointing. Batman looked good as a single star, but didn't couldn't win the international title. This title shot came about as a result of Wonder Woman's wish. So the whole thing with the Christmas Wish Battle Royal was a, the winner was supposed to be able to make a oh shit to make a wish um, that could be granted by our deputy commissioner Hank the Cocaine Addicted polyamorous possum as Chris is doing his hair again. However, I'm going to wait till he gets his headset back on. Alright, however, New Jack makes the cover. Wonder Woman is supposed to get that wish from Hank, the cocaine addicted polyamorous possum wearing a Santa Claus hat. But the real Santa Claus was at Christmas Chaos competing in the world title match against the Kool-Aid Man and he was so touched by Wonder Woman's gesture of wanting to open up knowledge of the multiverse to everyone in the multiverse as a result. She knew about it because of her participation in various crisis events and all that. Like, the selflessness just caused Santa to grant that wish because it was beyond Hank's power. And Hank was like, well, I still owe her a wish. I'm going to give her this world title shot. She wanted to fight the Kool-Aid Man anyway because of the multiverse, the multiversal threat he poses. And Batman and Robin as Wonder Woman's Oh wait, Robin with the cover on OJ. As Wonder Woman's friends was able, were able to uh, get themselves a tag title shot against New Jack and OJ. Someone's at my door. Be right back. What's up? Oh, someone's at your door? Yeah. I'm not sure what's going on with Chris. <laughs> New Jack with the cover. I thought that was the wrestler struggling, but I think it was Chris getting up off his couch. <laughs> Mario makes a good point about New Jack being in the match and it could take an eternity, but uh, they tend to, oh, the singles matches tend to be what drag on for New Jack, so he never goes for a cover. Robin's been frequently going for covers in this match, and OJ, after that big spear, might he goes for one of his own. He's got there a second before Robin. That man's leading through his cow there. Not sure why New Jack's not going after Batman. Yet. 
Shot to the back of the head from Batman to O.J. Simpson in the semi made of that New Jack with the spear. New Jack, former deathmatch champion, current tag team champion, of course, with O.J. Double power bomb. Checking my phone for the chat. Oh, the big diving head bump, and it looked like it looked like New Jack missed. OJ didn't miss with that headbutt to the groin of Robin there. Robin and now is not the time to pose, man. Come on. OJ looking for a submission. This is still coming. Starting to worry now. Chris always has random women showing up at his door. Oh, man. Timing. Robin missing on that dive. Yeah, there we go. Everything okay? No one's there. I don't know if maybe I just heard my like neighbor coming into his place and thought someone knocking on my door or what. Oh, <laughs> big diving head up there. You see, oh, New Jack actually goes for a cover. And it works. Who would have thought? See, like, <laughs> the, the stream stuck choppy. It went from him diving off the turnbuckle to it saying three on the screen. So it's... Okay, well, all I'm going to do is, hmm, well, actually, I don't know. I was going to end this, the stream in Discord, but then I was like, wait a minute, it might fuck up the positioning of our cameras. <laughs> so I don't know if it's worth it. We only got one match left. Man, that'll be fun. New Jack and OJ retain. Main event coming up as Wonder Woman going to be challenging the Kool-Aid man for the world championship. I did not mean to skip her entrance. I hit the wrong thing. Sorry. Oh, well. It so, looks like he's wearing a COVID mask. Yeah, I know. I'm just going to pause when this match starts to show the, uh, the graphics for our upcoming streams real quick. Yes. Coming up next week, it's going to be on Wednesday instead of Thursday. Block two of the Master of the Multiverse. We've got an eight person tournament WCW versus NWO World Tour with special co host Good Waffle. You can find him at twitch.tv slash Good Waffle right there on the screen. He's there in the chat, or at least was a short while ago. He is incredible, streams five, six hours a day, He's just an Iron Man in every sense of the world word i'm sorry <laughs> gonna be streaming with him next week and i'm definitely looking forward to that I'm gonna see who's gonna join stone cold steve austin in the master of the multiverse finals I'm gonna do another king of the ring tournament in the master of the multiverse the week after that I'm gonna do some nmw as well but next time you can catch nm or <laughs> catch the mwf i'm great at this as you can see chris and i are gonna be back and hopefully joined by jed coming up february 16th maximum carnage going to see a 30 person rumble in the main event so we got a lot to be excited about coming up but tonight the main event kool-aid man defending the world championship against wonder woman let's get back to the action right now close this thing out with the bang snoop dog the referee here we go you gotta take wonder woman all right well i'll go with kool-aid man New champ. New Wonder champ. Woman won that battle royal last month. I picked against her and paid for it. So, Wonder Woman, a former women's champion, she unsuccessfully challenged Colossus for the international championship about a year ago. So, definitely a tough competitor. She's the one that imparted knowledge of the multiverse to everyone on every Earth. And Kool-Aid Man's the one that's been going around after connecting with his multiversal self, a la Brainiac. Just destroying planets and feeding on the souls of all those who he killed. Kool-Aid Man, known as Theku Laidman, an ancient eldritch terror that was cast down to Earth and depowered for being too much of a dick. And he is responsible. You were cast down to Earth, too? I was not aware of that part. Eh, well. 
It's a long it's story a with the crew. Dervish. It's the whirling dervish. The whirling dervish. Never gets a three count off that. Going for a figure four. Second Blade, time he's locked that in. Blade Man's leg strength does not appear to be all that great for the weight he supports. I don't think Eldritch Gods have to do leg day, though. True, but he got depowered. He had to, you know, kill a bunch of people in order to try to get his power back. And Wonder Woman with a cover. Oh, wow. Gonna have to, uh... If we do another Zero Hour show, this was related to the Multiversal Crisis. It's a DC reference that one to zero people to watch the stream will get. But the blood all over the canvas means that there's no way we're going to get this thing clean. We're going to have to get a fresh one if we do another Zero Hour next year. Ooh, and Snoop doing all these title yeah. matches except the deathmatch title. Getting his work in. Got to make that blunt money. <laughs> we should do something with that as a show name. Oh, that's press instead of blood money, it's blunt money. This live from it's from Smoky oh, Arabia. Huh? I don't know from Snoopy Arabia. There it is. Well, we've already got. We did Blunt Sport two years ago, and we've talked about wanting to do another one. I didn't get to do it last year because I was traveling for a lot of April, but uh, April 20th falls on a Thursday this year. God, that'd be fun. Blunt Sport 2 Electric Boogaloo? What do you guys think? Absolutely. Submission or knockout only matches inside of the, the Dodecagon. Which is like a ten-sided variation of the octagon for copyright reasons. <laughs> oh wow! I want to take the chance that what are we doing here? Oh god, that was weird. Mario saying Clark Kent is Superman. That is all. Superman lost to Kool Aid Man in the finals of the Coronavirus Cup back in October and hasn't been seen since. He won the Maximum Carnage Rumble last year. And his absence has certainly been noted, especially with the Justice League members getting title shots tonight. Kool-Aid Man almost putting away Wonder Woman there. Oh, the kool aid and Destroyer! Oh, No, God, what? Goes, what? No pen and a no-sell. She ain't fucking around. Are you fucking kidding me? God damn, man. Nobody's ever no-sold the kool aid and Destroyer. No. Does she also... She don't, uh, Does she also do the wicked do? Oh yeah, she's Wonder Woman oh, is yeah, the one that, that Wonder Woman and Will Smith innovated the whippity do in the respective division. The muffler stretch as it's called. I love Stretch that Muffler. So much. Stretch Muffler. Another cool lady and destroyer. She's not getting up from that one, not immediately I'm anyway. Telling that. Face it or tits it. Uh. 2.9. Wonder Woman giving it all she's got. I want to question Kool-Aid Man's endurance in comparison to Wonder Woman. At the same time, he went through that whole Coronavirus Cup tournament, won three matches in one night. And But what is Wonder Woman doing? She put, it, put him in the tree of woe and did nothing with it. Looking for a submission here. Tap out. Tap out, you jug of bullshit. Jug of bullshit? <laughs> That's got to go on a shirt. Tap out, you jug of bullshit. Oh, yeah. Oh, no. Kool-Aid Man, famous for saying, oh, yeah. I'd say, oh, no, to that. They're, oh, they're in the barricade. The lasso of truth. The spinning brain buster. On the outside. If that was in the ring, that might have done it. If that was in the ring, that may have finished the match. Bear hug again, that could have finished a match in the ring. Kool-Aid Man has gotten submission victories with that before. But no. kool lady a destroyer on the outside. My god, Wonder Woman must be broken in half. Can we start calling his belly to belly the pitcher the pitcher to person suplex? <laughs> Absolutely we can. <laughs> Wonder Woman Still living in the ring. Oh. Snoop was taking a knee. Still is. In the ropes. Come on. Mm. 
Superman punch taking a page out of another Justice League member's playbook right there is Wonder Woman and oh my god. Holy shit. The Amazonian cut her. Why is she dragging toward the ropes? That was Definitely not smart. Ropes. Yeah, not even. She's taking a few shots to the head with those Palladian destroyers, so maybe that's an effect. Oh no. Oh my god, no cell! Wonder Woman no sold the Saito suplex and just punched the shit out of Kool Aid Man, but he if he had not rolled onto his stomach, he may have been taken out by that splash. The whirling dervish, the as Chris called it. Snoop asking I the fans if they give up. Somewhere, sitting on the chest. Two point nine, not quite enough. Another cutter, maybe. No. Wonder Woman getting fatigued as well now. She ain't the only one. This show's going long, baby. <laughs> now the most devastating move in the MWF. The, the, the whippity do in the ropes. That's a bummer. Kool Aid Man. Use that uh, that bonsai drop out of the corner. Oh yeah, he says. He's setting up for it. Oh, nice reversal. This might do it. If he can get that. No. Oh, wow. What the fuck? Waiting for him to get up, it looks like. Crossbody. Not in the ropes. Play man powering out the. Oh, missing the lariat. This. Oh, if she can. No, she's so close to the ropes. Too close to the ropes. Why? Why go for the cover instead of try to move it? I don't understand the strategy here. Kool Aid Man with that Fez press, but no cover. What's he looking for here? Oh, it's the big body shot. Kool Aid Man looks to be out of it, but just fighting to keep his title. The ass attack. <laughs> it's an interesting sell. Another cool lady destroyer. That's cool like the third or fourth. Destroyer. Oh, getting up, getting her. Maybe. See, this is how you do it. You drag the opponent away. Cover. What are you doing? And then does nothing. Jeez. Oh, oh a stomp. A, a stomp. Bear hug. He wants to make her tap. Wonder Woman refusing to submit to the Kool Aid Man. The title and perhaps condom, hitting that condensation clutch, as he calls it. <laughs> Oh, the no-sell, he slipped out because of the condensation. To paraphrase Anthony Kiedis, dream of Kool-Aid condensation. Oh, no. <laughs> Jumping cutter again. Oh, God, the grenade. The grenade dropping Wonder Woman. Oh, sitting right on her. Snoop counts. And that does it, the Kool-Aid man in a hard-fought match, crushing Wonder Woman's hopes and dreams, retaining the world title here in our main event at MWF Zero Hour. Goddamn, Kool-Aid man retaining the world title with that hip drop. What a show, man. So we're going to have to uh, let Chris do his, his crazy dice-rolling gimmick. Um at some point before the next uh, MWF stream to determine our entry numbers, our exact numbers into the Rumble. I'm, do I'm doing that as soon as the uh, camera cuts off. Oh, okay. The people don't need to know when we're when we're coming in. <laughs> we need to know. Well, yeah, I didn't say we were going to necessarily reveal it. We already revealed that we're in the Rumble match. But that's coming that's up February 16th, unless... Uh, our schedule is necessitate shuffling things around. We're going to be streaming every Thursday. That's the goal, with the exception of next week when we're going to be coming to you on Wednesday. Myself and Good Waffle, as you can see on your screen now, the Multiverse of Madness, Master of the Multiverse Tournament, going into WCW versus NWO World Tour. Eight-person tournament, Good Waffle and I are each going to pick four competitors. Only one winner can move on in the Master Kevin of the Multiverse Nash. Tournament. Uh, I'd say there's a good chance of him being in it. I mean, he's one of the 
I know you're a big fan of the Jack Knight slash Jack Off Power Bomb. So uh, normally I would go back to the desk view as we close things out, but uh, the cameras are fucked because of what happened earlier. So let's <laughs> transition back to the Fire Pro screen. You can find Chris Coron every single week on the hashtag FWB podcast, Friends with Benefits podcast, along with his co-host. He's also Chris. The co-host is just just playing Chris, and uh, I'm also. Yes, exactly. You're also. It's it's. It, you'll get it when you just listen to the intro of the show. They go live on Twitch every Tuesday night, and uh, it's up on Spotify and all your favorite podcast platforms on Wednesday. Search hashtag FWB podcast on your favorite streaming platforms. Check out Quiet Sunday Library and Good Waffle. Quiet Sunday Library uh, streaming schedule. I'm not sure if there is a set schedule, but it's usually later on at night. Good Waffle streaming, 1 o'clock Central Time, I believe, in the afternoons. Streaming for a long time. It's always a good time. And uh, you're going to see, uh, going to get a good taste of that good waffle this coming Wednesday, 9 p.m. Eastern, 8 p.m. Central. So uh, we'll see you then. Thanks for joining us tonight. Catch you later.